Hey YouTube, it's Quartz, aka Corey Pete, aka ugh, fuck, I don't feel like doing that. But hey y'all, I was gonna give you this whole list. I just kind of don't want to anymore. Um, I wanted to get on here. I tried to do this earlier. It kind of fucked up on me. Um, yes, get into this. Get into my. You probably can't see. It's such a glare. We'll do this. Yes, get into. That's Grace Jones. That's my Shiro, honey. I love her. She's kooky and crazy and creative and d dark skin and beautiful and chocolate and Jamaican and she's living like a prissy white British lady and I live for every moment of her. She's got all the men, all the money, all the life in the world. I love it. But anyway, sorry. I had to just give her some life. Um, but I wanted to come over here and talk about... You know, I'm a little late to the party, but this episode six of uh, Housewives of Atlanta, Atlanta, yes, I live for her. Um, it was a good episode, and you know why? Because everybody was talking about it, because it was trending, it was doing everything, honey. And I initially, you know, I don't, like I said, I don't do reviews, but these last two episodes of Housewives have just been giving me, and I had to have to make compliments, or comments, just not compliments, comments about them, like, oh my god, my glasses are forget. Oh, that was like, okay, that's better. What is this on my hat? Move. What, what are you? What is this? Lint. Anyway, where am I? Where was I? Where, what are we doing? What is this? Who is that? What are they? What is what? How is we? What are he? What is she? How are they? I'm sorry, that was funny. Carry Washington in your life on that. Anyway, um, <laughs> but, uh, yes, what were we talking about? Oh, Mother Joyce, girl, yes. Mother Joyce. And all I got to say is Mother Joyce. Mother Joyce. Ooh, Mother Joyce. Mother Joyce. Mother Joyce, <laughs> Mother Joyce, you did that, and that's not a compliment. I'm just saying you you really took you were balls to the wall for that one. You did that, honey. You didn't give a fuck, and it's just really sad that you you did you doing this to your daughter. Whatever the reasons are, honey, she loves this man, and you need to just deal with that, like. You know, I know everybody's saying, you know, you don't want her to basically marry this man because it's going to take away from your money, basically. It's like stepping into your bank, you know, like, and I just think that that's totally, if that's the case, that's very selfish of you, but, you know, whatever. It happens. Family members be like that, honey. Family, you know, they say, honey, family will get you worse than a nigga on the street, honey. A stranger on the street would do you better justice than family, honey. Like, case in point. You know, let's let's talk about this, honey. My parents take this back. I think it was Atlanta, 1988, 80, yeah, 88, 88-ish, yeah. My my mom and my dad moved to Atlanta. They were living back this way on MLK on Fourth Ward back when it was the hood. It's still kind of the hood, like the hood's still a little over there. But you know, the you can tell they've been like steadily getting the ghetto folks out and rebuilding it and putting these like little trendy shitty condos up anyway but um when really they could just like beautify the neighborhood and let these people live in there still live in their neighborhood and let everybody you know live around them and you know of course you know a lot of the other stuff like you know if you sell drugs and shit like honey you got to you got to go but they could let the, the people there that are really dead who just need a place to live and that's where they live they can let them stay and live in affordable housing but you know girls you know, these developments, honey, they want a certain clientele, and it ain't that, but anyway, <clears throat> that's a story for another day, um, where was I, I, was, I got on fourth ward, okay, let's see, we're gonna take it back, we're talking about, oh yeah, my mama, my dad, so, they get the apartment, the first night in their apartment, or like their first week or whatever, I think it was like somewhere in the first week, They their car got basically stripped, honey, like jacked, 
and you know took the doors took the wheels took everything off the wheels jack just just you know woke up but they were nice enough to put the cars on the cinder block the thing on the cinder block so when doing the little thing where the wheels attach they were real nice about that now let's take it to a family member in, on my mother's side who you know that was a stranger stealing from from my mom and my dad or my mom polite enough to at least put your shit up on some cinder blocks for you just the, even that little much was they were just like oh they were really polite about that <laughs> Like, even the police said it. They were like, they, that was really nice of them. Because, you know, normally they just leave it on the ground and fuck all your shit up. Anyway, but then let's get on my family. A certain family member stole from my mother. Um, stole money. And bought a house with it. And then the house that we were living in, she, the money was used for, was going to be used to renovate the house that we were living in, that my mom and I were living in, and my brother. Um, played like she hired some old rinky dink, my aunt, convinced my mom to hire some old rinky dink, sh you know, shade tree mechanic slash I fix it man, gave him a $2,000 deposit. He went in there, told some shit up, and, ain't, and then you ain't heard from that nigga. Like he just took your money, you know. And the rest of the money she put on a down payment to to purchase her house. Like she stole my mother's money, used the money as a down payment on a big ass house that she couldn't afford and didn't even work to keep, no shade. And then when it was all found out. Oh, yeah, so then yeah, they tore up our house. So we ended up having to live with this bitch in the new house, girl. By this time, I I had just went off to my first year of college, so this was like in and out of my college. But yeah, through that whole time, up until like my, my junior year, like it, before I like right before I went off to college and into my junior year, so it was like four years. They were living in the house, and I knew what happened because it was just it was just pretty. It was pretty. It was mighty funny because she was just like, "Oh, girl, let me hold your check." The story of how my, my aunt got this money from my mom is just too long to go into. But my aunt was supposed to be holding the money for my mom. And my mom believes it. And I told my mom don't do it. I actually was like, I don't think that's a good idea. And she told me to stay in the child's place. Well, so I did. I just stopped talking. And I just observed. And it was kind of hard because I was like, do you don't see how strange this is? Like, this lady... Is holding on to your money, but yet she didn't have, and all of a sudden now she's buying a house, like she's dropping a down payment. Where did she get the money to buy a house? Because she was asked out living with us in in the in my in the house that we were living in. She, I don't know if she moved out or just got kicked out of her old place, moved in with us, ran up all the bills, just just didn't pay any rent anything ran up all the bills this is a long ass story I'm sorry girl but you just don't understand like the point I'm trying to make is anyway she did all that lived with my mama rent free and all that and then when we had to move into her house that she suddenly bought out of nowhere even though I knew what happened girl you know like so I was trying to and I was trying to tell my mother the whole time like I was trying to give her hints but she wasn't trying to hear it so I just kind of let it go sometimes you just gotta let people you know see it for themselves. So anyway, she um about to wrap it up, I promise. I'm long with it. Um she we moved in there and then had my mama paying all the utility bills and shit. Like, oh, you gotta since you stay with me, you gotta help me pay some of these utilities. Okay, which was fine, but then my mom was paying off the utilities, like all all of it, like paying not a portion but the whole amount, whatever the bill was, my mom had to pay it. And it was just like this bitch is really like using you like and then when it got found out when my mom found out when everybody just was like and then like what really got me is that because it was my my mom's one of my mom's sisters and then the other siblings knew like about it and didn't say anything like kept their mouth shut like 
so all y'all were in on the gag, and you didn't even, like, think to, to be like, hey, that's fucked up, don't do that to our sister. They were in on it. And they let this lady swindle my mom. And, you know, they own sister. They own blood. They did that to her. And so, yeah, girl, fam. And then when it was found out, instead of my aunt being some, even the, she couldn't even be remorseful. She couldn't be, look, even make, pretend like you got a sad face or something. She couldn't apologize. She couldn't even get something. She didn't even, like, to this day, she still hasn't apologized for that. Like, that's the shit that I don't like. To the, and that's all, like, I think that's really all my mom would like from her. It hurts my mom more, not the fact that she did it, but the fact that she hasn't even came to came to any kind of way to just be like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I shouldn't have did that, or I'm sorry that I hurt you, or anything, and she still hasn't. So, yeah, girl, she pretends like it doesn't happen. Like, if you bring it up, girl, she goes ape shit. But it's like, well, girl, you did that. Like, and she turns it about into how everybody's attacking her. It's like, girl, we'll stop doing fucked up ass shit. But anyway, I'm going on about my whole family. I didn't spend, like, a good chunk of this video talking about me. I'm sorry, y'all. But anyway, the point I was trying to make, family will fuck you over worse than, than people on the street. Plain and simple. Oh, yeah, and that was another thing the robbers did. They didn't smash the windshields in. They, like, just... They crowbarred their way in, took what they wanted, took what they needed, took the wheels, put her up on a... And then, you know, just left her for, you know, you to just replace what you lost. You know, didn't fuck the car up. Any, and they were like, girl, they were really nice to y'all. <laughs> they must have just said, okay, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna give them too much. They knew. <laughs> I think they must have realized they was new. And they were like, we ain't gonna give them too much. We just gonna take it and we just all go. But they were considerate enough to not totally fuck them over. And here, honey, family took took my mother through a ten year hell. Just about. Like, it's past ten years. It started the shit started in two thousand and two, it's two thousand and thirteen. So yeah, it's eleven years. And the shit keeps happening. It's like, girl, does this lady have to die? And I don't want my auntie to have to die. Or nothing like that, but I mean, it's just like, girl, I keep trying to tell my mama, like, let that, like, don't invite her in your house no more. Just don't. She's selfish. I love her. I love her. I love all my family, but for you to do that and not even have the decency to, anyway, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm still talking about it. Back to Candy <laughs> and her mama. Mama Joyce. Mama Joyce. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. That pissed me off, though. Like, you can understand. Like, that really does hurt. Like, seriously. But Mama Joyce. Uh, yeah, girl. Like, you are really... You fucked, you are a fucked up individual. Like, why are you doing this to your daughter, ma'am? And then your daughter's best friend. That's the fucked up ass part. That's the most fucked up ass part. This is a girl that your daughter has been friends with since, since I heard that they've been friends since they were kids. Like, she's been around y'all, grew up with y'all. You've been, like, supposedly a second mother. And here you are going around in the streets telling everybody that this girl is a hoe when she's not. It'd be one thing if she actually is fucking, if she's fucking this nigga, and the shit gets out, then, I mean, I will, Carmen, I'm sorry, girl, you, but I don't think she is, like, if she ain't did it by now, and Candace probably had a lot of men that you have chased away, and if she ain't fuck none of them by now, I doubt she'll fuck them, you know, I don't think she's that type of lady, usually those girls you already know from the jump, they start early. And Carmen just don't seem like that type of girl that would just take your man. Like, she just don't seem like the type. But, um, the fact that you're doing that to her just to, um, fuel your, your, your campaign is fucked the fuck up. Like, seriously, I, I don't understand 
I don't understand why people like you exist. And then your aunt, I mean, your your sisters, the aunties, oh, no, girl. Like, I, all of y'all, like, I can just tell, like, all of y'all, when, it, when y'all talk about men, it's always in past tense. Like, you never, none of y'all niggas got current men. Like, I can tell. Because y'all a bunch of old, pit, petty, gossipy, downtrodden ass hens. Like, that's what y'all are. It, you, oh, girl. I don't, I work with one of those, I work with one of those, girl, and I just, y'all are the same, bitter, mad, angry, cranky, you drink a lot, mad because you alone, but then, like, you don't understand why you alone, you don't, you don't understand why you alone, you don't understand as well why you are alone. And it's because you keep doing the same old petty ass dumb shit. And you can tell that they are, they have, and they jealous. You, oh girl, they probably just, oh child. They probably hate the king that got a man, you know, got about to get married and shit, because they either have yet to get married or fucked up their marriages. Oh girl, you could just see it. Uh-uh, I don't think you should marry him. Why? Why don't you think you, what gave you that idea? Did you? Because Candy, I mean, Candy, that man, he, he treats you like gold, girl. Don't. Don't let these bitches fuck that shit up for you. I hope that what they say is true. They say you ran off in a low, and I hope you did because that's the only way you gonna have to let these niggas know. Like, uh, uh-uh, uh, bitch, what I got is what I got. You gonna have to deal and and manage your business. But you need to tell these ladies that you can tell them to mind their business. I'm grown. That's always, honey. When you get grown, that is the best. That is the end of all conversations, honey. I'm grown. I'm grown. You can't tell me anything. I'm grown. <laughs> He's grown. I'm grown. We are grown together. Bam. I don't need. I don't need. I don't need it. I don't want it. I don't like it. Mm-mm. I'm grown. That's all you gotta do. At the at the very least, Mama, I'm grown. And she's got the deal. Like she can't if she can't take her, then you know she can like like the baby said it, honey. Well, honey, I guess grandma won't be coming around as much. <laughs> like and she felt no fucks ways. Honey Riley felt no fucks about it, honey. She was just like, Well, I guess grandma we ain't gonna see her that much, huh? Like, I mean, cause she like, hey, I don't give a damn, like you got a man, you happy, you off my ass probably. I can you know, like, yes. Because all that's going to happen is if you lose him, you're going to be clinging to your daughter. And it's, the cycle is just going to continue. Like, no, girl. Like, save yourself. Save save the women in your family. Let th- you and your daughter be the shining beacon. Like, honey, it can happen. You can have a man. You just got to be happy. And stop being jealous and hateful and scared and insecure. You'll get... Well, I mean, some y'all old now. I don't know. But, um... But you can get a man, like, it's not, even at your older age, honey, you can get somebody. And y'all can be cool, hell. Or if not, girl, you get you a vibrator, I mean. You old. It, it, ain't, it ain't nothing. Ugh, but the way you acted, girl, I'm sorry, I just had to stare off in the space, I saw a cute boy. But the way you acted, <clears throat> I can't. I can't get with that, honey. You you literally was about to serve Miss Carmen a can of whoop ass. So you played it like you were. And I can't I can't understand. I just call her. Let's call her in a minute. I don't understand, bitch. Like I don't understand how you act like you are grown, lady. Like you are somebody's mother. Mama Joy. Mama Joyce, why would you act like that? I mean, she was acting like a straight hood rat, a alley bat girl. Oh no, girl, that wasn't cute. Like taking off your shoe, you talking about you gonna fuck her up, and you over here calling this girl a hoe. I mean, you were, and then the and then 
what really pissed me off is the fact that your sister telling the girl to shut up. I don't get you older birds. Some ugh, some of y'all old people who think because you old, that gives you the right to just be belligerent and we just supposed to shut up and take it because we young. No, nigga. Night, night. That's not happening. Not today. Not in my world. I'm going to respect you as long as you respect me. But if you step out of line, it's... <laughs> Sorry for you, girl, because I'm about to I'm about to come for your throat because you tried to come for mine. Don't. <laughs> Girls just gotta know that. Like, respect is given when respect is due, honey. When you give respect, I think that hey, did that make sense? It kinda did, but it kinda didn't. But anyway, like I'm saying, honey, you got to earn you got to give it to get it, honey. You, if you run around here acting like an asshole, you think I'm supposed to sit up and just say, Oh well, because she's seventy five, I can't say nothing. No bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, nigga, you old, you acting crazy. Just sit your old crazy ass down, honey. Stop. Don't do that. Why are you being so extra? Extra, extra. Read all about it, bitch. I don't know. No, we're not doing that today. Not today. Not tonight. In my Brandy Mac voice, not tonight. We're not doing that tonight. We're not. We're not having it. We're not. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm, I don't want it. But that's all. I don't get that. Like, because you owe, I got to just sit here and be like, yes, Mia. Yes, you're right. I, I, I'm, I'm a bitch, nigga. You're right. Oh, you're right. Yes, my mother's a whore, too. Yes. Yeah. No. No, no, no. 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 No, girl. It's just not going to happen that way. Um, and you lucky Carmen, because I I like her. She she was very respectful, honey. Because it couldn't have been me. Because I'd have been like, somebody get this old lady, please. Somebody get this old bitch now, because I'm about to put the paws on her. <laughs> like I'm about to lay them hands. She's about to feel the the wrath, girl. I'm about to slap her up one good time, girl. I will fight somebody's mother. If they act crazy on me, I would fight somebody's old. I would fight somebody's old person, honey. I don't give a damn. If you the way I look at it, honey, if you trying to come, if you are trying to attack me, I don't know what you are. You could be a jujitsu master, superhero. Okay, Robocop Barbie. Like I don't know what the fuck you got going on, girl. And you ain't finna be all up in my personal space getting all frantic and violent on me and I'm just supposed to stand there and take it. No. She's lucky. She was dealing with the right one. Like I said, she knew she what the fuck she was doing on that one. She knew what the fuck she was doing. She she knew she had the right one because she knew the girl wasn't going to jump up in her face like that. But girl, you forget, honey. Because I think if they grew up in the same area, honey, those those, those they're straight Fulton County, Atlanta girls, honey. They went to Douglas High. Like, I don't... Yeah, those girls will fight you, girl. Like, they may be pretty, and they may be prissy sometimes. Like, you know, like, Candy like, gives you cute little girl. Cute. You know, they may be cute as a button, but, honey, don't, don't, don't get on their bad side, because they could be just, uh, honey. And you probably, and that's probably the environment you came from, so I don't even know why you tried it. Mother Joyce. But anyway, it's just the way you acted was just atrocious. And it's just sad that it all played out for the whole world to see you show the pink meat of your asshole like that, honey. You showed the white meat, bitch. I can't with you. I am not able to do it with you right now. I can't. Like, you went from, like, somebody's cute mother to just this gutter, gutter hoe. Like, I don't know what happened, honey. The fame is getting to you, honey. Lady Gaga is right, honey. The fame, girl. The fame monster, honey. It gets you, girl. You, the rhythm is going to get you. Miss Joyce, you, girl, calm down, honey. I see you got your little Daria Molly Dora the Explorer wig going on, honey. You know, with the, it's, it's, it's cute on you because it flows. It works for your neck and shoulder thing because, you know, you kind of got that, like, I don't know constant because you kind of, you know, chubby. So it's like you got to... A little neck so girl it works it gives you it makes it like you got a neck and <laughs> I'm sorry. I, oh, that's an undercover read I'm sorry but yeah it works for you the point is it works for you 
And um, yeah. <laughs> it makes you look like you got a neck. Yeah. I took with my own self with that one, honey. But <laughs> yes. Um I've got to go. I have to call my friend actually. But I'm gonna sum this up. Mother Joyce, you tried it and Candy Girl, you need to talk to your mama. You really need to have a talk to Sonny. And I hope y'all eloped. Because ain't no way in hell. Ain't no way in hell that you can have a, a really decent, successful wedding with them acting the way they acting. Like, that's just sad. But anyway, I got to go. Um, like subscribe, all of that. Follow me on Twitter. It's all going to be in the description. Love you guys. More Red Lego stuff coming soon in Judy's too.